Hi everybody, this is Marnie from Habitat. I am in Hibbing today, standing in what will be a bedroom um, for a sweet little six-year-old. Almost. Almost six-year-old. <laughs> her name is Elena. Um, too bad she's not here with us today because you would enjoy her. She's a spunky little lady that um, is always so much fun to chat with. So anyway, um, this is International Women's Build Week which um, we are celebrating um, this week as an affiliate. Um, I hope on Monday you caught our panel discussion with some very lovely ladies talking about affordable housing and how that impacts um, our lives. If you did miss it, um, you can watch it um, by going to our YouTube channel or you can just go to our website and it's right on the homepage so you can always watch it in the replay. Uh, so, I am here today with the homeowner that um, is working on this home, uh, but before I introduce her, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, this project. So, generally, Habitat builds new construction, and since 1995, we have built 73 homes, and however, we also sometimes get generous donations from individuals, or communities that we work in of existing homes that we're able to rehab and habitize it, if, if you will. And by that, I mean we're able to make it energy efficient and affordable for a family to purchase when it's done. So I am standing in the 16th rehab project that we've done. And um, I'll introduce Abby. She can join me. She's kind of hiding off camera. <laughs> so this is Abby. Um, Abby Moberg lives here in Hibbing. She is the mom of the spunky little six-year-old that I mentioned. And she is um, engaged to Hunter Mackie, and they are rehabbing this home together. And when it is done, they will purchase it with an affordable mortgage through Habitat. So Abby, tell me, oh, I also wanted to mention, in addition to rehabbing this home and taking care of a six-year-old, Abby is a full-time student, and she is a para and a dance teacher, so she is one busy mama, and uh, she has been a great partner. Um, you all know that our Habitat families partner with us to build a simple, decent, affordable home, and by doing that, they're, they're putting in some sweat equity hours. So Abby has done a lot of demo, which she was really excited to do, and now we are at the stage where it's a lot of coming in and cleaning up after some subs. Um, I'll do a little tour when we're done, and you'll see that we just finished the insulation. And so sheetrock is next, so it'll still get a little messy, and uh, she'll come in and kind of help clean that up for our subs that are busy working to complete it. So. Abby, tell us a little bit about your current living situation. So right now, me and Elena, we share a room. We live with my parents mm -hmm. and my three younger siblings, so it's a full house. It's a full house. So a little Seven overcrowded. People. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, is there only one bathroom? Currently, yes. Oh dear, so seven <laughs> people sharing one bathroom. We know that that can be really tricky. Um, so how did you hear about Habitat? Well, when I was in elementary school, actually, mm -hmm. I got to help with volunteering. Mm -hmm. um, we got to help clean up in the yard and everything. Sure, sure. And I liked being able to do that. And then in high school, my parents did a lot of volunteer work for sure. Habitat for Humanity. Nice. And then after high school, one of my family members actually told me, like, hey, you're a single mom. You might actually qualify for mm -hmm. Habitat for Humanity. You should try applying. So I did. And yeah. I was very happy that I got accepted. Yeah, so yes, you got accepted into our home ownership program, and we assigned this project to Abby, and so we called you one day and asked you to meet us at this address and said, ta-da, here's your project. Tell me some of those initial thoughts when you looked at this house. I was a little bit worried at first. I mm -hmm. thought that it would be a pretty big job, just like even walking around outside the house because mm -hmm. it is a lot bigger than on the outside mm -hmm. than what a normal habitat house usually is. Sure. But as we've been going on, it's been a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. like it's been it's been good. Yeah. Good. So as you've been demoing and doing some of the rehab work, is there a new skill that you've learned? 
I learned how to use, what's it called, the Sawzall. Ah, sure. Yeah, yeah that was fun. I, I liked learning how to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yes. We love it when we, we get to learn something new, and power tools are actually really fun. Uh, so um, tell me about, you know, when, you know, we haven't been able to engage a lot of volunteers during this pandemic, um, but you've been able to work with Brandon, our construction manager, and we have some regular volunteers here in Hibbing, like Ozzy Shock and Dave Ongaro that have really helped move this project forward. So tell me, do you have like a favorite memory of working with any of the volunteers that have worked on your house? Oh, that's that's hard. Because <laughs> me, and, me and Brandon have been working on it together a lot mm -hmm. and I've really enjoyed being able to talk to him about like the process of not only my rehab house but mm -hmm. the process of new builds also. So sure. I've, I've really liked being able to learn more from Brandon Sure, when, sure. I'm, when I get to work with people here. So Do you feel like going through this whole process is going to help you when this, this home becomes yours? And so when, when you know, there's, I mean, Elena probably won't bust any walls, but if she did, <laughs> you not. probably would be able to do that on your own and patch it up and fix it. So. Yes. So it's great. You're learning some great valuable skills that are going to help with home ownership. Okay, so um, you have been putting in, oh, that's why I already asked that question, so never mind. Um, so when this home is done, you will close on this property and you will purchase mm -hmm. it. So tell me what you look forward to the most when you move in. Well, being that we currently have such a full house, mm -hmm. like I will finally be able to give Elena a space that is her own space. Sure. That's sure. something that I really look forward to. And I've also been really looking forward to having my own kitchen mm -hmm. lately. Mm -hmm. Like the more that I've been thinking about it, just sure. being able to style it the way that I want and then finally be able to cook all of my own meals, meals for my family and everything. Nice. So I look, I look oh, that's great. That I love that. I know Abby and Hunter and I met at Floor to Ceiling probably a couple months ago to pick out the kitchen. And it's always one of my favorite things to do because picking out a kitchen is, is really just, um, just a fun part, part of the process for all of us. Um, so lastly, what do you, home ownership, how do you think that's going to impact your life? And maybe Elena's life and Hunter's life. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big step. It's mm -hmm. going to be a very big step for all of us. Um, we'll all finally be stepping more into independent mm -hmm. roles, but like, more of a like family type yeah, of sure. situation. Yeah, well you'll finally be sense. under one roof. Yes. yes and will. and Elena will have her own room and you'll have your own room and Elena gets her first big girl bed and so that's really exciting too. Um, so I think it'll just, uh, things will stabilize mm -hmm. and be le less chaotic. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, we really are excited about that for you. So, um, I am now going to take my camera off this tripod so it might jiggle a little bit and I'll give you a little bit of a tour. Um, but before I do that, so when we get a home like this, um, whether it's a donation from a generous individual or family, or if it's something we are able to get through a tax forfeit situation, um, Nathan and a site selection team will tour it just to make sure this is a project that we can rehab and make it efficient for a Habitat family to purchase affordably. Um, but the intention is, is that we are going to gut it down to studs, new roof, new siding if needed. Um, we are all new electrical, all new plumbing. Um, and then we do, you can kind of see even above me, you can see the spray foam insulation. So it is going to be insulated well. And it's actually nice and toasty in here, and there's no heat on yet. So um, the insulation certainly is going to play a role in making this an affordable home for Abby and her family. So, all right, so we'll do a little tour. Uh, just bear with me here for a sec. There we go. That wasn't so bad. I'm going to turn this around if I can. There we go. Okay, so I am in what will be... Elena's bedroom. So it's at the front of the house. Um, some great, there's a tiny closet there. <laughs> it's like a munchkin closet. Um, and then hers is at the front of the house, like I said. So all new windows as well, you can see. And then this here is another closet. So that will be Elena's closet. And then we'll go out what will be her bedroom door. 
And then the second bedroom is right here. So this will be Abby and Hunter's room on the back of the house. And then tiny little hallway. And then we go into the upstairs bathroom. So obviously right now that the tub is shower system will be over there. And then toilet and sink over here. And then we'll head down the stairs. So this is a three bedroom home. There was an addition at some point in this home's history and a bedroom was added on the back, which could also be used as an office or just bonus room. So here is where you would come in the front door, nice big closet there. And then you can see some of our wonderful volunteers. And then you walk in and this will be the living room area. And whoops, and so a nice big living area. And then this here is the dining room. And so Abby and Hunter were also able to pick out all of their light fixtures. And Abby built her budget around this really cool dining room light. So I can't wait to see that installed. And then this is the kitchen. So it'll be kind of a U-shaped kitchen. Um, the sink is kind of on this wall. And then I believe the stove and refrigerator are going to be on this back wall here. Kind of hard to imagine because we don't have any sheetrock up, but um, I'll have to come back in and do a tour when the house is complete. And this is that bonus third room or third bedroom or bonus room that I mentioned. And then we have a back door that comes in here. Um, because this is a rehab, there is of course a basement. I'm not gonna go down there, but um, it's just great for extra storage for her. And then backyard, of course. And then this home had an existing garage as well that we will reside and um, which is just a great bonus for this family. All right, so there you have it. Thank you for watching. Um, please give us a call at the office if you have any questions. Um, for those of you that are watching that might be interested in this program as an option for you or someone you know, I am happy to talk to anybody about the application process. Give me a call at the office, 749-8910. And just real quickly, I'll go through the criteria. So need for housing. Um, and then the ability to pay, because we will sell this home to Abby, we needed to assess her income and make sure that there was a stable source of income, uh, make sure that um, her credit was responsible, that any debt she had, she could manage. So we wanna make sure that families can successfully um, pay their mortgage. And then lastly, willingness to partner. We talked a little bit about Abby working and doing sweat equity. Um, that is part of that partnership that um, we that makes Habitat so unique. And uh, families really do get to get in and build their home, which just builds their skill level, which builds a sense of pride because they're doing this on their own with our help. Um, and then, um, and so those are the three basic criteria. If you or someone you know is interested, again, please give me a call. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, so um, stay tuned. We have a few more things to do with Women's International Build Week. On um, Monday, we are doing a home dedication for Brittany Satterway in Ely. So pop on Facebook around 10 o'clock and we will be um, streaming that live so that you can be a part of the official welcoming her and her family home. All right, thanks again for joining and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.